welcome everyone. It is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and this is how to set up and use Intercom, an amazing new feature that works across your iPhone, your Apple Watch, CarPlay, HomePod, and of course the new HomePod Mini. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First, this is currently a beta feature. Once you update to iOS 14.2 as well as your HomePod to 14.2, you'll see this new notification pop up when you launch the Home app. We're then going to go ahead and continue setting up Intercom choose when we want those notifications to be delivered to my particular iPhone, and choose who can use the intercom from the home app. Those are the people that you've added to your home. Now you'll see there's a new intercom icon in that top right hand corner, and the plus button has been moved to the left hand side, which is used to add new scenes or accessories. If we tap on that icon from in the home app, we have a new animation. The screen pops out to our whole house. We're going to use the intercom to send a message, and when you're done, just go ahead and tap on that square button to stop, and assuming you're connected to Wi-Fi correctly, it'll go ahead and send that message to your whole house. So go ahead and look at the home app a little bit closer. Aside from that button in that top right hand corner, we have a few other changes. So if I go into my existing HomePod, which has been updated to 14.2 beta, I now have a new option for intercom inside of my HomePod settings. If I tap into the intercom option, I have a few choices here, including when I want those uh, notifications to come through. So never when I'm home or just anywhere at any time. And of course, turning this HomePod on or off for intercom. If we back out of all of this, I can go into that top left hand corner, tap on the home icon and go to my whole home settings. So these are your global settings for intercom. I now see I have my blinds and windows, cameras and doorbells, doors and locks, sensors, and a new option for intercom. When I go in, I can choose again when I get those notifications, who has access and turning on and off individual HomePods. So if I have multiple HomePods or HomePod minis, those can be disabled or enabled there. But do not worry, you do not have to go into the Home app every time you want to send an intercom message. You simply say Siri or invoke Siri, however, and then just say intercom. You can then go ahead with your message and it'll be shared to everyone in your house. If you have multiple HomePods in bedroom, studio, kitchen, living room, you can specify where those go. So instead of the whole house, I can just say intercom to the kitchen and then Say my message there. That way you don't have to blast the whole house when you're just trying to talk to one person or in one room. Now it works on Siri on pretty much all of your devices. So you can talk to the HomePod to send a message, your iPhone, or even your Apple Watch. When this is updated to 7.2, I believe, you can use Siri to send the intercom message, same as all of your other devices. It'll even work inside a CarPlay. When an intercom broadcast is put out, it doesn't come out as a Siri voice, it actually animates and comes out as your voice. Basically just kind of like a voice message, but an intercom instead of a specific voice message. And this of course will work with HomePod and the new HomePod mini. Intercom is a really cool feature. I can see so many uses for this for families and kids. Maybe you pull into the driveway and you use CarPlay to send Intercom, hey, come help me unload the groceries uh, or call someone for dinner. There's a lot of applications for Intercom and with HomePod mini making it so cheap to put these things all around your home, it's pretty awesome. And I love how you can send it to people's devices as well. Let me know what you guys think of Intercom. It is coming soon in iOS 14.2 as well as all of your other devices. Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU.